Okay, so the first test is going to be with the uh, master air screw three bladed props and we're going to test it for maximum speed. So that means we'll be flying the controller in manual and I'm going to set the gimbal to about 40 degrees so I can really pitch this thing over and just really try to get the maximum speed we can. We'll have the throttle pegged out and then I'll share the flight data with you and uh, we're going to do the same exact thing with the uh, stock props and we'll see how these things perform, what the max speed is with the uh, three bladed as well as the stock props. Props come like this. Let's go ahead and put a couple of them on here. So the little red dots on the stock propellers are replaced with a propeller that looks like this. It's got a little raised area right there in the middle. That tells you these are the ones that go with the red dot ones. There's just uh, two screws per propeller. Just remove them here with a little Allen wrench here. They give you eight new screws. I'll probably just reuse the old ones. Replace it with one that has a red dot. There's a couple of little pins on here that go right into the uh, motor. Just line that up. Okay, it clicked into place. And now we put the, uh, put the screws back in. Snug them up pretty good. And I'll retighten them after a flight again. And now we'll go ahead and do the others. Here's all four props on, and we'll go ahead and retorque them after a couple of flights. Make sure they're still nice and tight. And uh, so we're going to test both sets of props here. I'm going to use the same battery for all of the tests today. Um, this battery, it's got about 100 flights on it already. It's in pretty good shape though, um, but it's important to start off with a fully charged battery, 100%, especially for the high speed test because uh, there will be a voltage drop as you progress into the flight and then your top speed is going to drop off pretty dramatically. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, same battery, kind of standardize everything so that the results are kind of meaningful. Okay, we're going to test out the master air screw props and see what kind of top speed we can get out of them. All right, we got the gimbal set to 40. Okay, the gimbal's set to 40. We're going to go with full throttle here. See what kind of speed we can get. Fifty-seven, sixty, sixty-one. 61, uh, right around 61 miles an hour, top speed. That was a good run. Okay, we got the gimbal at 40 degrees, full throttle. Fifty-two, 
53, 54. So it looks like the uh, master air screw props are about five, six miles an hour faster. Huh, cool. The results kind of surprised me. I was expecting a little bit of difference, but it was actually a lot more than I expected. The Master Air Screw three bladed props, uh, well, we got 61 miles per hour uh, max speed in M mode, which is pretty good. And we got 55 miles an hour out of the standard props. So you get about six miles an hour greater speed with these props right here. I think that's pretty significant. As far as the uh, flight time test we got almost 10 minutes out of the uh, master air screw props and it was averaging around 30 miles an hour uh, it'll go back and forth a little bit 28 29 31 32 but with the standard props we got oh, about 30 seconds less flying so right around nine and a half minutes and uh, also these we're going about, oh, maybe 28, 29 miles per hour instead of uh, averaging 30 like we got out of these. So all around, these props are performing a little bit better than these by maybe 5 to 10%. Uh, the only drawback I really saw on the Master Air Screw props is in the goggles occasionally, because I actually ended up flying this about 10, 10, uh, 10 packs, so I got some experience in it. Occasionally, I get pixelation, maybe every flight, maybe every other flight and it would be close in so it wasn't like it was disconnecting or something but we get a little bit of pixelation in the uh the video from the goggles i never have seen that on the standard props so that is a drawback i don't know what would cause that maybe vibration or something like that however in the actual uh sd card in the drone it's crystal clear there's no issues there it's just something about the image that it's transferring back over here maybe from the vibration like i said but Overall, I think these are outstanding props. I'm going to leave them on here and stick with it and just use these as a backup. There you go.